Well, good morning. We are on the beautiful beach here in Wahine, and I am going to take us down this beach. Oh my goodness, it goes on for kilometers. It's gorgeous. There's a few people that are out here walking in the morning like me. I like to get up early. I get up early, go out for a nice walk. The restaurants are not crowded. The coffee shops are not crowded. And I get in my wonderful morning walk like this. Today, we are going to talk about one of the top questions that I get in the comment section, which is how do I protect my valuables? This is a great question. I totally get it. People see that I travel with one backpack, I'm staying in all these hotels, how do I protect the valuables that I'm traveling with? Well, that's a great question, and we're gonna cover that today, and you'll be able to see exactly what I do with the valuables and how I protect them, and hopefully it will just put that out of your mind so you'll stop stressing about it, and you will travel and enjoy yourself more. We're also gonna get ourselves a great bite to eat, you know that. I am really enjoying who I am because this place has fantastic restaurants that are cheap. They have coffee shops that are low cost. There's great little mom and pop restaurants that I'm enjoying and I'm only exploring a part of it. One thing about this area is that it goes on with a gorgeous beach for many kilometers and I'm only exploring just a part of it. But that's a reason to come back for more. Okay. We've got a lot to cover to take care of one of your top questions, which is how I protect my valuables when I travel. Let's get going. Let's talk a little bit about valuables themselves. What valuables do I travel with if I am a minimalist traveling with one backpack? How many valuables can I travel with? Well. That's the first question that we should talk about because I don't have any kind of jewelry, watches. I don't travel with those kinds of things. I buy my sunglasses like $3 pairs here in Thailand. <laughs> if they break, just go buy another one. I do the same thing with my reading glasses. I don't have a lot of valuables, but let's talk about the ones that I do. I'm gonna start with a big one that a lot of you have been asking me about, which is my laptop. I have a great laptop, but it's old. I'm gonna show it to you while I'm talking. This laptop is an old Microsoft Surface laptop and I just love it. It's metal, it's very strong, it's super lightweight, and it has traveled with me for years. It cost, you know, about a grand when I bought it. And I think they are still about a grand if you buy them now. It's been worth every cent and it has traveled with me all over this planet. I have gotten my money's worth with that thing. It has survived, it's light, it's strong. I use a VPN on it so that wherever I am around the world, the websites that I go to, like my banks, or if I need to pay my taxes, or if I need to in make investments and buy more stocks, those websites think that I'm back in the United States because of the VPN that I use. Also, the laptop is protected by a password. And I don't keep anything on the laptop that could potentially bring me harm if somebody was to get a hold of it. I keep all of that password protected in the cloud. It's just a portal. I use it mostly for YouTube, <laughs> but it's been a great laptop. The thing is this, when I travel with this laptop, it's been around a long time and it gives me what I need and if it got stolen out of my room, I would not be out much anymore. I've gotten my use. Do you know what laptop I used before this? A $50 Dell laptop. I took it all over the world with me. It traveled everywhere with me. And that's what I suggest to you. If you wanna get a laptop to travel with, get an old Microsoft Surface laptop like mine and find it used online for like 100 bucks or 150 bucks, that's it travel with that so you won't worry about these things it will remove that stress don't keep anything on it use a vpn anytime you use it and you will be happy you'll take that stress and just move it out of your brain stop worrying about your laptop and get traveling in the morning like this there's a lot of great coffee shops that have opened up 
either their breakfast and coffee or like this one, it's just a nice morning coffee shop built out of kind of like a kiosk setting. And you can tell later on in the evening, they probably have live so music. <laughs> it's just a cool setting. Oh, Something like this, we're talking $2, perfect. I enjoy getting out for these morning walks like this. This is a cool area. Wahine is beautiful. The people are friendly. It's a blast from the past, and I'm really enjoying it. By the way, if you have any questions about travel health care, travel insurance, it's the number one question I get in the comment section. You can see the first link in my description to get all your questions answered about travel health care and travel insurance. It's true about how many expats there are here in the Wahine area. More expats than I've seen even in Pattaya. The next thing I wanna talk about is my cell phone. And let's talk about other valuables as well, because these are all gonna fit in together. And I'm gonna show you that while I'm having this conversation with you. I have a pair of shorts that are called Traveler, and I'll put that up on the screen so you can see them. And I'll put the shorts up here so you can see those too. These are made by O'Neill, and they are incredible. They're part of the Expedition series. I have a link in the description so you can check it out. These shorts have a special pocket that can hide my passport. My passport goes with me when I leave the room. I take everything with me when I leave the room to rebuild myself in one day. Think about that. If my room got wiped clean in one day, I have everything on me, to walk down to one of the little marketplaces here in Thailand and put my entire life back together. Backpack, a few shirts, maybe some toiletries. I could put my whole life back together in one day and keep going. Passport is with me. My cell phone is with me. I also have with me what I call my cards. Those are my ATM cards. Those are my Visa cards. They go with me. And so when I travel, I don't really leave much in the room for valuables. I don't really have many valuables. And I certainly don't leave things in the room that if they were stolen, I would then be stuck and have to head back to the States. No, those things go with me. And they go with me in these great shorts. They're comfortable. You might remember from a couple of years ago, I used to carry an over the shoulder bag. And I'll tell you what, I love that. That was so comfortable. I might do that again. But right now, these shorts have basically become my over the shoulder bag. And they're very comfortable to wear. And they dry just as fast as any swimsuit. I love them. I think they are the ultimate travel shorts. And because of them, I take things with me like my cell phone, my passport, and my cards. They go with me. So they're not going to get taken from me. Remember when I was going through Latin America that I used to have a drop phone? I used to have a drop wallet that I carried? Yeah, that way in case somebody pulled a little shank on me, hey, give me all your stuff. I just tossed it on the ground and I would run. I don't do that through Southeast Asia, okay? Cultures are different here. And that's something else you should remember. When I get back to my room, my room will be completely clean, okay? And my laptop will be sitting right there. It's a very different culture here, all right? And for that reason, I don't really worry about things getting stolen. Let's go ahead and summarize then. One, I have a laptop that's not that expensive, <laughs> okay? I'm not that worried about it. Two, I bring most of my valuables with me when I go for a walk. I can rebuild myself in one day if I need to. In one day, I can put myself back together. That's exactly the way that I want to travel. The next thing to remember is that all of your data should be in the cloud. Don't keep things on your laptop. Don't keep anything where if someone gets a hold of it because they stole it from your room, that they can gain access to your banking or to your investments in any way. All of that should be protected by two, three, four factor authentication, and it should be kept in the cloud, not being carried around by you. Hopefully this has dispelled some of your thoughts, some of your concerns. It is the, I would say the number two question 
the number two question that I get. The number one is about healthcare. What do I do for healthcare? And now I'm talking about that in every video. And the number two question is, how do I protect my valuables? And that's what this video is all about. I hope that it has helped. There are so many of these wonderful little family owned restaurants here in Wahine area. As you're walking along, you just find them. You check the menus right outside and you can see that you can get meals for $4, $5, $3. Just walk in, relax and order something delicious. I love it. I can definitely see why expats love this area. It's low cost, very friendly, lots of inexpensive places to stay, inexpensive restaurants, coffee shops. I totally get it. This is the way I enjoy traveling. Low cost, relaxed, perfect. This is just perfect retirement atmosphere. What a piece of the past. <laughs> you just look out from the restaurant and see that someone's on a horse. I love it. <laughs> Great prices on this meal. The Matsuman curry, $5 with the rice, and you get a nice spring rolls on the side, all freshly made. I like it when they have an open kitchen so we can kind of watch them cooking. $3 for these spring rolls. What a fantastic meal. Delicious, freshly made, very enjoyable. There is so much meat and vegetables, cashews, everything in this Masman curry. Has to be one of the best that I've ever had. I'm glad that I chose to come to this area. Beautiful Wahine. It looks like Hua Hin, but the locals, they say Wahine. <laughs> So I'm trying to pronounce it like them. Oh, well, we just try our best. Pronunciation and also learning to speak a few Thai words here and there. It helps, you know. It helps in any culture that you visit. I just love traveling here to Wahine. It's been fantastic. I want to thank you for spending time with me today. We got a chance to talk about one of the most important questions that you ask me, which is how do I protect my valuables when I travel? Well, you know what? That's a great question. And I know a lot of you are concerned about that and I get it. This year that I'm making this video, I've traveled to eight different Latin American countries. I've traveled all throughout Southeast Asia and I'm probably going to continue doing that for the next couple of years. Many places, Eastern Europe, going maybe back to Latin America again, traveling possibly to places like Turkey and Greece. There's a lot of places I'm hitting. How do I protect my valuables? It's important, and I'm glad we talked about it. If you would like to know more about this lifestyle that I'm living, traveling low cost as a minimalist, well, like and subscribe to the video and come along with, because that's what we talk about here. If you wanna know more about the equipment that I travel with, the fantastic sandals that have gotten me through years of nonstop travel, I love them. They are fantastic. There's a link in the description for those. And for the backpack that's traveled with me now for seven years, an incredible backpack. The link is in the description for that as well. So you get a chance to see the gear that I use. Okay, we'll talk again soon. Aloha. I was just minding my darn business, roaming the mean streets here in Wahine when he saw me. The mad dog of the beach. Look at him protecting the beach from all ne'er-do-wells. He's got his eye on me, a vicious dog ready to sink his teeth into me, the mad dog of the beach.
<laughs> and this is easily the number two question. The number two question. Does that, does that sound good? This is the number two question that I get. <laughs> does that sound good? We're going to talk today about the number two question. I guess, no, yeah, yeah, it is the number two question. Does that sound? This is a, this is one of the top questions. That I get. 